and welcome to Math Made Easy with Bonolom Kloum. In today's lesson, I'll be teaching you how to find the trigonometric functions for general angles. The question for today is, the terminal side of theta in standard position contains the point minus 3 and minus 4. Find the exact 6 trigonometric functions for theta. So our point is minus 3 and minus 4. And we want to find the six trigonometric functions for theta. The first thing that you have to do is to draw a Cartesian plane to show the terminal side minus 3 and minus 4. So I'll draw my Cartesian plane here. Okay, minus 3 is on the axis, this side, and minus 4 is somewhere on the other side. So our point is this side. Okay, we can draw a vertical line here to make a 90 degree angle. Now, the x is minus 3 and the y value is minus 4. So I like to take out this triangle so that I can see all the sides. The triangle will look something like this. So it's like I've taken this triangle and I'm flipping it up the side. My y value is minus 4. My x value is minus 3. Okay, so I'll put my angle theta over here. So we're looking for the side R. So we know that when we have a right angle triangle and we have a missing side, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the R. So our formula is R squared equal to X squared plus Y squared. And to find R will be equal to x squared plus y squared. Now let's put our values. It will be the square root of minus 3, our x, plus minus 4, our y squared. If you calculate this, your r will be 5. Now we have our r as 5 and we said our y is minus 4 and our x is minus 3. So now we can find the six trigonometric functions, which is sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta. Okay? We also have cosec theta, sec theta, and cot theta. Okay. So our sine theta will be given by our opposite, which is y, and the hypotenuse, which is r. Our y is minus 4, and our r is 5. So our answer will be minus 4 divided by 5. Okay? And then we will have minus 3 divided by 5 for our cos, which is adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. And then our 10 is the adjacent divided by the opposite. So our adjacent is minus 3 and our opposite is minus 4. So it will be minus 4 divided by minus 3. And we can simplify this to be 4 over 3 because a negative divided by negative gives you a positive. Now the cosec, it's the flip of sine. Okay, so here we'll have 5 divided by minus 4, we just flip this one, 5 minus 3, 10 this one, 3 divided by 4. So you have found the 6 trigonometric functions and the steps are, you first draw your terminal point, move your triangle here, find R using um, Pythagoras theorem, and then set up your 6 trigonometric um, ratios. Thank you guys for watching this lesson. I hope that you really enjoyed it and you learned something out of it. Please do subscribe and press the bell button and ensure that you join me next time when I do another video. Goodbye.